How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Escapist. In the last episode, we escaped Center Perks. Big accomplishment, huh? You think, hey, he escaped the prison. Cool. Well, that was the easiest prison. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to start Stadag Flucht, which is, it's easy, but I mean, definitely not as easy as the other prison. And also what we're going to do is this is going to be, let me find the right, there we go. YouTuber edition. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name everybody in this game after people that I watch on YouTube. We'll start with this guy. Hmm, who, who does he look like? You know what, we'll call him Let's call him, let's call him Markiplier. Hand knife. Okay. See you, Nanners. Mr. Sark. I will name you. Eat. I know this guy isn't really a YouTuber. He's a funny streamer. Ezekiel the Third, Officer Yami Mash. Can I do this? Chill chaos. Nice. The hard part is there's I need two more YouTubers that are good. This is the hard part, though is the hardest part of the video. <laughs> Naming the people. Oh man, this is tough. Um, who else do I watch? I know what I can, I know what I can do. Kind of unoriginal. Mosh Ian. Damn it. Smosh Anthony. <laughs> Perfect, let's do this. No, who's my cellmate? Cinnamentos Ken. Okay, now this prison is gonna be for number one, there's a it's double cell, so it's gonna be a little bit harder to escape. You need your cellmate to like you a lot. Yes, Mexican and scene enters. That's cute. It's been a very long time since I've actually played this prison. So I honestly don't remember what happens and when it happens, but we're gonna try to figure this out. We'll play the first day, get the routine about, and then we'll see what we can do. Alright, we're going to breakfast. 
as is the usual starting routine. So I'll grab, sit there. Who's gonna sit with me? Cryotic, Sham, and Gazzy Mexican. Sark really likes me, look at that, 94. How about Diction and Eh? It's the only person who's iffy. Right now, it's like PewDiePie, oh, Gassy, Gassy Mexican is a little iffy on me, but that's okay. He'll like me eventually. Okay, so I think job period is next, maybe. Maybe. Yep, guarding job. Alright. Now, there's only one metal detector in this whole area, and it's right here at the job center. So if you have any of these jobs, you gotta make sure that there is no contraband on you. Cause your, your uh, heat goes up to 99 instantly when you have, when you've gone through a metal detector with contraband in your pocket. Which is why they came, came up with contraband pouches. Which I'm not really going to need to make one of, because, I mean, it's not, it's not important to get through there. The only important thing you'd need to get through there, as far as I remember, because I'm fighting already, is the red key, which you can use to actually shut off, shut off the, um, the generator, because... Let's see if this fence is what I think it is. Yeah, the fence is a little bit, a little bit blue for me. I don't know if you can see it too, but it's definitely blue, which means that it's electrified. Let's start by searching two desks. Oh boy, right off the bat, timber. Timber is going to be important. The last time I escaped this prison. I believe I had to shut off the generator. And then I dug underground to cut through the fence and escape that way. But that will take quite a while to do. And I don't know if I want to have you guys sit through that mess. But I mean, maybe I'll just. I'll just torture you guys. Because I enjoy doing that. Also, in this prison, there are different items than the last prison, such as the family photo. Another cool thing is that the guards actually can't really see you until you're right there at the door like that. Exercise period. I'll make it through this period. I think I need to. Alright, let's go. There's also different things this time. Strength training is now press ups instead of dumbbells. Running at the speed is still the same though. So, my focus for this episode is going to be get to the first day and try to get Cinnamon Toast Ken to like me a little bit more than he does. There he is. Here's one, two, three comb shifts. Cool. Now it's free period. Music's a little different too. It's kind of relaxing. So what I need to do is I need to give my intelligence up to get a better job. So I'm gonna take a little bit of shower and a drink. period goes for three hours so I'm gonna spend the entire free period in the library down here reading and raising my intelligence because I don't want to be stuck with that same job 
the whole way through here because you're not going to get any money that way. Trust me, it's not fun. The library job is the job you want to have. Because you can actually go into other people's cells during job period. And you can search their desks and you won't get caught by the guards thinking you're in the wrong cell. Because it's your job to go into other cells, drop off books and whatnot. Also with library job, if you find the person walking around, say if I have a book for Cinnamon Toast Ken and he's not had he's not a job, I can give the book to him. And my job will be done faster. Which is cool. So we are at... 51 intellect. That's not bad. So... Evening meal next, I believe. So we have to try to get C. Nanners out of his job. Or Markiplier out of his. Because at least the two jobs that I want the most. Because the... The wood, the wood shop job allows you to take timber away with your contraband pouch, which you can use for things like timber braces, nunchucks. Uh, you can use them for lit, lit, lit on and presents. You can use them for zip lines. Uh, timber is like essential. Oh, it's job period again. I do Cause you you only get like thirty dollars a day doing this job, and it's it's not worth it. Beauty pie. Let's check the, the favors. Beat up beauty pie. Pocket watch for Shan. One thing you gotta remember is in this one there are two different types of watches. Okay, I just took a job. Sure. I didn't know the difference between the two when I started. But apparently there is a watch and a pocket watch. So if you try to give somebody a watch when they ask for a pocket watch, they're like, okay. And the last time I played this prison, Pocket watches were like the number one thing people wanted. They wanted, I want a pocket watch, find me one. Find me a pocket watch, I want a pocket watch, find me one. And you couldn't find them because they were so few and far between. Where are the weeds? Here's one. That's another thing about the gardening job here is that the weeds, they don't really spawn as frequently as. They should. So you gotta run around the entire prison just looking for a weed. You can, I've actually lost my job. I've lost this gardening job at this prison before because I couldn't find any weeds. They weren't spawning anywhere. Lucky this time I finished it with uh, just a few minutes to spare. So in the meantime, let's gain some, let's try to raise our strength a little bit. Because if, if you remember what I said before, strength increases your health, and it increases how much damage you do per punch. Because you can have the best weapon and have like 10 strength and hit like 1 or 2. And 1 or 2 is not good enough to win fights, especially against guards. I don't think we fought any guards in the last prison. I don't remember. Also, the doors are very glitchy in this game, as you can see right now. That one guard is standing over that door down the bottom near me, and the door on top there is open as well. And the 
it does that with the work the work doors do that and I think the entrance door is the one with the purple keys do that all right evening roll call let's see who's getting searched hopefully not me Megas do a cell state down as follows. Okay, we're, we're safe then, which is cool. The timber and the metal plating in my desk can stay for a little bit. And I always forget to go offline on Steam when I play this game. Stupid. Alright, well, that's gonna end the first day. I'm not gonna play anymore because... Tomorrow will be exactly the same as today. Hopefully you guys are going to like this prison. It's a little more difficult. Like I said, especially since they're a double cell. Hopefully we can, uh, we can get out of here no problem. One of the things I have to do, I know I've got to do, is I need to dig. Dig digging is the easiest way. And in order to do that, I need to get Cinnamon Toast Ken to like me and not rat me out. So we're working on that next episode like, like I've done before. I'm going to skip a day or two. Try to get some progress so you guys don't see every single day as it is and then get bored of the series. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. I'd appreciate it. Helps me out a lot more than you guys know. Also, if you enjoy what you see, you want to see more of this on a daily basis, you want this in your subscriber feed, and you want to become part of the awesome group of people known as the A-listers, they're all very attractive, very skilled, and they're the best people in the world. If you want to join them, hit the subscribe button. Every sub helps me out, and it gets me towards my goal of actually not being a nobody. <clears throat> but thank you guys. We'll see you on the next episode, episode number six, second prison. Let's do this.